hey have you seen that reel that's famous on instagram right now you know i have also seen that and hey have you seen that shorts that is famous on youtube have you seen the new movie pathan release ho rahi hai have you seen that no books what are those i still have time right i can study later on it doesn't matter i know papers are closed but i do have a month hai na so i can study in that why should i start studying now this is what we do this is what we doing we have reels we have shorts we have youtube we have facebook we have movies number of distractions are so so many but how much time do we really have now just 30 days left this is the time that you left with students the number of days that you left with the number of days that can you know make and change your future right both are very 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 close like they have you seen it in the mirror like things seem to be closer than they appear things are as you know boards are actually very very close you do not know that these 30 days will you know just end in a blink of an eye what will you do then it is really really important for everybody out there to understand this one particular thing that boards are very close to you and it is highly imperative at this point of time to get serious and do your best so that you know you can score good obviously like these are your final 30 days the final 30 days in which you can revise and you know you can do your best you can give your best to what you have studied so far right so how will you strategize yourself how will you strategize yourself for the last final 30 days the countdown is already begun these 30 days are going to make your future so how you have to plan this 30 days is very very important it is very imperative for everybody out there to know and how you have to plan these days what is going to be the way you're going to study so that you can you know score an exam so that you can get what is called success let's score let's buck up ourselves because we are pwns and we have to see this thing that we the teachers here you know should always be there for you so that you can give your best and do your best in the exams so today i am niharika as you all can see me very clearly i am here to give you certain tips and strategies that are going to help you whenever you're going to give your exam so these are certain things that you have to keep in your mind you before going for the paper and while you are studying and while you only have 30 days left for the time the countdown has already begun as i said and you have to you know complete everything in this time itself so what has to be your routine for these 30 days is very very important and that is what we are going to do today So come on students let's start and let's learn that how can we plan and strategize our you know time for the syllabus of the paper first thing that you have to do first thing first is divide subjects all right first thing that you all can do is to divide the subjects that you have like you know which subject is going to take a lot of time like for example there are three subjects that are going to take a lot of time of you that is going to be maths the other one is science and the other one is sst these are three subjects in out of which two of them will require learning right and this one of them will require practice you will need to learn things here and you need to practice things here now the question comes up that do i have to prepare everything that is there in the chapter it's not the time for that now you are left only with 30 days which means you only have to you know revise whatever you have done previously and apart from that if you have not revised if you do not know what's going to be there in the paper the only thing that can help you out here is previous year questions because there are full chances that those previous year questions could be there in your paper like this is not the time to procrastinate it is the time to work hard and have the result and show everybody that you can do it so one thing that can you know help you out in the study is first of all divide the subject in a manner like maths ssc and science have to be done in a day all these three subject are compulsory to do at least at least give 1.5 hour to each subject a day in which for 30 minutes it is going to be the concept revision right you're going to revise the concept for 30 minutes after you're done with 30 minutes of concept revision you have to give at least one hour for practice and as i told you what are going to be the things that are going to practice these are the previous year questions these are going to be the sample papers that you can solve this is one such thing that would help you out in the way you have to solve your papers right now coming up to the second subjects that we have we are going to have sst uh, sorry we are going to have hindi and english more both of them are language subject 
Hindi and English. Now what you have to do for these both of these topics like both of these subject is that you have to see previous year questions most importantly. Now NCRT is your Bible students right. What is NCRT? NCRT is going to be your Bible. It is going to be the one thing that is going to help you out in your exams. If you are thorough with your NCRT, if you ask the toppers of you know the other sections and if the other uh, grades for example class 12 you will get to know the one who have taught the exams are the one who have you know understood the NCRT in a very very ma good manner and they have completed everything that's written in the NCRT what you need to do is you need to do an active reading of NCRT because the moment you are familiar with what is written in the NCRT there's no looking back active reading the thing that could help you out for English and Hindi is the NCRT active reading. Now what do you mean by active reading? We have all the series here, you have mind maps here, you have most important questions here, you have everything available to you. The only thing you have to do is while you are you know, understanding the mind map, while you are listening to the mind map, open your book, listen to whatever the ma'am is telling, uh, whichever teacher you are studying from, listen what the teacher is telling and match it from the book. In that way you will be able to solve English and Hindi very very easily. Coming to the grammar part, you have to practice at least 10 questions a day. 10 grammar questions for Hindi and English both. 10 question grammars a day you have to keep this 15 to 20 minutes for it that's enough 15 to 20 minutes of revision for this in order to solve unseen passages try to solve two passage a week two passage a week for both of them two passages for Hindi two passages for English and that way you will be able to manage your time nicely one more important thing that everybody here has to keep in their mind is very imperative here is examples. Now examples for what? Example for maths. There are times, uh, you know, students that there, there are questions in the paper that are directly come from the examples part, right? Specifically for maths. You have to practice each and everything that is there in the NCRT. Try practicing the similar questions again. And very, very important thing that everybody, you know, has in their mind is that ma'am, which guide we should refer? Like obviously once an NCRT is done, which guide we should refer? So in that case students, one thing that you all should keep in your mind is have one, you keep only one guide. Alright. Now that guide could be the question bank, that could be any guide in which you feel the language is alright, in which you feel that this language is easy for me to learn, to study only from that one guide itself. You need not have five or six guides with you because in that way you're going to get really, really confused, right? So keep only one guide that suits you best, alright, that you feel like this is the best for me, this suits you the one you feel is best for you should be the one you should or you know you should have with you you only need to have one guide whichever you feel is okay for you study from it now the next six students that you have to keep in your mind is practicing the sample papers all right the question bank that are given by cbse every year plus the question bank these are very important again question banks these are the one that should be practiced by you every time you're going to have you know a paper Every Saturday, Sunday should be your revision day. Saturday plus Sunday. You're only going to have four Saturday, Sundays in between, I suppose, because only 30 days are left. So you have to practice sample papers and question banks given by CBSE for your convenience on Saturdays and Sundays. And check yourself ki where do you stand and how much improvement do you still need. Check yourself. All right. Now, there's again a question. Man, when we study, we do not get to know that how we have to understand and what we have to do. In that case, in that case, create the environment. Create the environment. The, the time when you are studying, create the environment around you. Give yourself the entire time that is designated on the paper so that you get to know where do you stand. And once you know you're done, once you know that your time management is you know on point in that point in that case you can stop writing the sample papers and just see the question have a quick read just frisk the papers and get to know which are the questions that you have not practiced and start practicing them all right i hope all these strategies are going to help you out the way you know the time you're going to give your paper and you're going to score good and you know you'll always shine because everybody here is born to shine right students I wish you all the very best for your upcoming exams and your future endeavors.
that was all from my side i hope everything helped you out all the very best to everybody out there do your best give your best bye bye students